I started Go Green Agriculture in 2009 in my dorm room in college. In 2013, when I went to Rady, I was ready to start to expand my company beyond just the few customers and employees that I had. It was a very exciting time for me. I raised capital while I was at Rady. I grew my company from about 10 employees to about 50. And today we've now reached about 200 employees with multiple sites across the state and looking at a national rollout. From the time we went from hunter-gatherers to building civilizations, agriculture has been one of the most important industries that has supported our growth. For thousands of years, we've done things the same way. What I look to do is to use technology, innovation, science, mathematics, engineering, to solve some of the challenges that are inherent to our industry, such as food safety, huge amounts of labor, resource scarcity. We're using technology to solve that by growing in greenhouses, in urban areas, away from not needing arable farmland, using less water, less inputs, less labor. All these things are solutions that Go Green drives to help advance how we're gonna be feeding the world in the next 100 years. I was extremely attracted to Rady's entrepreneurial spirit as a college itself, because that reflected the environment that I was living in. I, myself being an entrepreneur and a startup, really connected with that startup mentality. What I learned at Rady that really was kind of profound for me is the concept of being a startup isn't just the time of inception, it's a philosophy that's maintained throughout your, your growth cycle of the company. And that is one of the really big things that, that stuck with me and that I think I'll take forever. I think something that I really enjoyed at Rady was the connection with not only the, the alum and my, my fellow peers, but my professors as well. You know, I had the privilege of had, having had a startup going into Rady and being able to culture that and nurture it and share that excitement and enthusiasm with, um, with the professors, with my fellow colleagues was really something that was of, of tremendous value. We were able to take case studies and apply them directly to things that were happening in real life and in real time in my company at that in those moments. So being able to kind of go back and forth between theory and actual kind of what's happening on the ground was a really um, positive thing that I was able to experience. Being able to hear CEOs and other executives in real time come in and share their kind of war stories with us and have us be able to connect with them, create these personal relationships and that, that not only during class, but that go on with you forever was something that was of tremendous value to me. While I was at Rady, I raised capital for the first time. And in that process, I got to meet not only the folks who ended up investing in my company, but those who were also interested. And some of those people became some of my lifelong mentors that I still have today. I'm talking almost 10 years later. It's something that I can't imagine getting to where I am today without having surrounded myself with people who are successful, have done what I'm trying to do, and who just have taken the passion in coaching young leaders into something that's blossomed. The idea of entrepreneurship is not just for someone who's gonna start a company. It's a philosophy, it's a way of thinking, the idea of challenging the status quo. Is this the way things should be done just because they've been done like that forever? Or are there better ways to do it? Can we challenge our, way, our, our thought process to come up with new innovative ways to do things? I believe that that's not just for the, the entrepreneur for himself or herself, it's for anybody. It's the idea of applying those within the company you work, within any type of setting that you could imagine in your life. I find that the concept of working at building a team, working together and collaborating, um, challenging the status quo, those are all core philosophies of entrepreneurship. And I think that everybody benefits from taking some of those principles in.